Okay, folks, here I am at my girlfriend Patty's place. Uh, she said if I went fishing, I had to bring her some. Uh, Patty normally goes fishing with me, and she catches some big fish. Say hello, Patty. Hello. But I'm using her kitchen instead of my own today. Now, that's the fish that I caught. Uh, I managed to catch three of them in probably about uh, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, pretty decent sized fish. And uh, they're all cleaned up, and when I got them home, I ran them under the sink water, cleaned them up a little bit more for anything, removed the heads and everything like that. And then I've got a hot pan of oil. You can see it kind of bubbling there. And then I've got a plate over here that has flour in it and some seasoning. And you can use whatever type of seasoning you want. What the flour does is it coats the outside of the fish so the outside doesn't burn while the inside cooks. So that's an, an easy way to cook them. All you need is a pan of hot oil, some flour, and you're ready to go. I also like to barbecue these. I put these out on my barbecue. You just put a toothpick in them to hold, hold them open. Season them up real good on the inside. Uh, you can put flour on the outside, but you don't have to on a barbecue because it'll cook them uh, without burning the flesh. And I like barbecue trout as well, but we're going to do it the, the simple way on the stove top right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fish. I'm going to start with the big one here. And all you do is you uh, put it into the flour, like so. Get the flour on the flesh part of the outside, not the inside. Coat it real good with the flour. And then you'll take that and you just drop it right into the hot oil. And that'll cook up. You let it cook on one side for about, oh, five minutes or so. Then you flip it over, cook it on the other side. And you can cook two or three at a time. So we'll take this other small one and we'll put it in because there's enough room in this pan for that. Get into the flour. Over on the other side. Make sure it's good and coated. The trout are already a little moist and want to rinse them under the sink water so they get the flour well and just drop them into the oil. Now, trout is very uh, delicious, but it's also nutritious for you. It's a, a real healthy meat, as all fish is. And uh, trout ha generally have fairly large bones, so they're not real difficult to uh, get the bones out of them like some trout, like some fish are. And when they start cooking good on one side, you just flip them over. And they may curl up a little bit, that's okay. Turn them over. You can see that they're already starting to brown on the inside. Let them cook on both sides real good. Flip them back and forth a few times until they're real brown on the outside. And you can see that the meat's already starting to cook. Trout doesn't take very long to cook. Fairly tender meat. But you want to do at least five minutes on each side. Flipping them back and forth. Uh, trout goes good with all kinds of different dishes. We're going to have rice with this trout. It uh, goes real, really well with any type of vegetable straight out of the garden. Rice, beans, just about anything. And uh, the meat on a trout, as you can see, will pull right off the bone. All you have to do is take your fork, and it will just come right off the bone. You throw the bones and the tail away, and then the skin, the fins, and even the tail is actually edible, but not the bones. You want to make sure you clear the bones out before you eat them. And that's all there is to cook and fish, folks. Thank you for joining me on my fishing trip. I had a lot of fun. And I hope that you'll uh, take your kids fishing. It's a, an excellent recreational sport, and it's also a great way to provide some good, nutritious food for your family. You all have a good night.